Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to show you why I love this Black & Decker 12 cup thermal programmable coffee maker. So you can brew a full 12 cup, but it's got a thermal carafe. There is no warming plate. The, the thermal carafe will keep your coffee warm. It's got a really nice uh, lid that pours out the coffee. And again, there's what the inside of the carafe looks like. It's like double wall insulated. So the coffee maker's got a very nice display. You can set the hour. You can program this to come on automatically in the morning. It's got a brew button. You just press that button right there to start the brew. It's got two, it's got three levels of strength, regular, medium, and strong. You can do a one to four cup. At the end of the brew, it also has a freshness timer that comes on to show you how long the coffee's been sitting there. Up at the top, we lift this up. This is your brew basket. It's got the plunger in the bottom. There's the brew head. This is where the hot water is gonna come out. It's got a nice big area where you're gonna pour the water. You do need a 10 to 12 cup basket style coffee filter. So here's what your coffee filter will look like. You're gonna put it in there like that. It does have a window on the side to let you know how much water you've added. And you can sort of see it from the front. Okay, so let's brew some coffee. I got the filter in. You're gonna use one tablespoon per cup you're gonna brew. This coffee maker will brew whatever amount of water you put back in here. Each time you press the brew button, it brews that amount of water. So if you want the full 12 cups, put uh, fill it up to the 12 mark. If you only want six cups of coffee, fill it up to the six mark. And then you're gonna put one tablespoon per cup you're gonna brew. So if, you put, if you're gonna brew 12, put 12 tablespoons, six, you'd put six tablespoons. I'm gonna brew a six cup. Okay, so I got the coffee grounds in. Okay, so now let's pour the water in. Again, we're gonna fill it up to the six mark. Make sure we close the lid and it simply just press the brew button. A little blue light's gonna come on to let you know that it's brewing. Okay, so let's see if we can catch the brew head, the water coming out. So that spray pattern, that's what they claim is an even stream shower head when it comes out to the side like that. Okay, so the water in the top of the brew basket being brewed is around 193, 194. And then the coffee going into the craft is about 188. That's a really hot coffee. I'm doing a regular strength, but if you did a, um, a middle strength or a strong brew, it just kind of pauses. It takes longer to brew. So it'll brew a little bit and kind of pause, brew a little bit and pause. But the pauses are not very long at all. There's, there's maybe a second. It does have a one to four cup button. So if you only put one to four cups of water in, you should press that button. What it does is it brews about half the water, pauses, and then it finishes the brew. But that button does not mean it'll only brew one to four cups. It'll still brew whatever amount of water you put in the back. It does have a CL that'll display on the screen. That means it's time to descale it. And it has a special descale mode to put it in when you run the vinegar through to get the light to go off. So there is a big sticker on the craft. It says fill it with hot water before you brew. They want you to preheat the craft. So they want you to put some hot water in there, preheat the craft, dump the hot water out, and then brew your coffee into it. It will make it last longer, but the, I've noticed the craft will keep my coffee nice and warm for up to two or three hours. So the coffee maker does look very nice. It's got some like a metal finish. It's got the Black & Decker logo. You can, it's got pause brewing, so if I want to pour a quick cup of coffee, even though it's in the middle of the brew, I can do that. That plunger will come down and stop, and there is no warming plate. And then I can put this back and it'll finish the brew. Let's see how the coffee grounds are doing. Again, here's the side of it. It's only a two-prong cord. It's not a very loud coffee maker, but you do get a little bit of steam, and it does kind of pop a little bit towards the end of the brew. And we're right around the six mark, so it's brewing about a cup a minute. That's about standard. At the end of the brew, this blue light will go out, and you'll see a freshness timer come on automatically. Okay, so the blue light went away, and there's the time now. That's going to be a count-up timer to let you know how long the coffee's been sitting in there in the craft. That was right around the seven-minute mark. Okay, so let's see how the craft pours. Now, you do have to depress this when you want the coffee to come out. So no coffee's gonna come out until you press that button. So when I press the button, it pours really nice. 
And if I stop, Okay, so let's see how hot that cup of coffee is. About 167, 168, that's a really hot cup of coffee. Here's what the coffee looks like. It tastes really good. I've been drinking this coffee. I've been drinking this, it makes a very good cup of coffee. The strong brew is even a little bit stronger, but the coffee just tastes really good out of this coffee maker. I like that it's simple to use. You don't have to worry about it. If it stays on, it shuts off automatically. Okay, so here's how the coffee grounds did. It did a really good job. It didn't overflow the, the filter basket. It's got this nice little handle. You can take this over to the trash can. It's not gonna leak on you and dump that out. I really like this coffee maker. I think it makes a great cup of coffee. Cleanup is very simple. This is dishwasher safe. I do think that brew head kind of does make an even distri distribution of the water. This is kind of just a standard basic coffee maker that makes a great cup of coffee. Thanks everybody for watching.